Hello, everybody. <coughs> I ended up taking a nap after work today and woke up late, and now I'm up when I should be asleep because I got to train it tomorrow. Well, I figured I would get in a couple of hours of OT. I know y'all say she always works. I do work a lot because I work from home. And I kind of figure if I'm going to watch Netflix or YouTube, I can work at the same time and make money. Plus, you know, I have things I need to take care of. I'm at the end of renovating my rental property. And um, I'm going to do a walkthrough on that once he finished the bathroom. Because I'm now starting to decorate it. Um, some, because my son lives there. I don't want it to be too feminine. But, um help him out with decorating I guess I should say and then um, you guys know I'm paying for my trip to Dubai so that and then all the other little things I like to do in between this is so pretty I've never looked at this I was just trying to see if they had um, something like nighttime music or something and this is really cute nice to go to sleep by I usually listen to the rain and with the dark screen, so it looks like your TV's not on, but it's raining because I'm normally sleepy on rainy days. So, that or if you ever try to read the Bible when you're in bed, Satan don't want you to read it, so you'll get sleepy. So since I was up, you know I had to go check on our friend. And tonight I just decided I could not look at her slurping and burping and slobbing and all that shit she does over there when she eats. I just could not do it. I did it one time. I, I am not a person that likes to watch people eat. I know it's a thing. I know people like it. I know there's a lot of people that watch it, but I cannot. And then, what she call them? Pork bones? It's pork neck bones. But she was slurping and slip. <laughs> You, you, you have to see it. It was just too much for me. I was like, I thought she ate her other food bad. But them pork neck bones. And then she had like a whole bowl. And I get, I'm like, how much? You know, you're eating this lady out of house and home. One would think that when you're at somebody's house, you'd be a little bit more respectful. Because the lady wanted to apparently fix her more than neck bones. And she was like... I I'm on the carnivore diet. This is fine. Ma'am, you ain't on no carnivore diet. Slurping down um, juice and every day and eating ice cream two and three at a time. And what's all the other crap? She eat crunching lunch and all that other mess. Ain't none of that on no carnivore diet. So you should have just ate the vegetables the woman probably wanted to cook you instead of a whole bowl of neck bones. And then she was talking about how the lady don't really eat. Well, that's a blessing because you surely would. I'm sure you ate her half and your half. So, but I was watching and like I said, between the eating and the slurping, it was just too much for me today. And she talked about parenting, which I find it interesting for a person that doesn't talk to their child to talk about parenting. I mean, people, if you're a Christian, the Bible talks about the sins of the father and how they trickle down from generation to generation. And in most families, you can look and see what sins are major sins. I don't know if they're major sins. Okay, let's just say certain sins that trickle down through the family, such as a great-great-granddad was an alcoholic, Guaranteed that somebody else is going to be one. If one was a drug addict, they're going to be one. Um, but then you can also see if one was successful, you can see the succession of somebody being successful. So when she talks about her family, I'm thinking, wow, you could have did what your mother did. If it, it, it's true, because you don't deal with your child or your grandchild. And you say that on your video so it's not like somebody went and did some research you say you don't deal with your family which would include your child and then you made a video about how you left your son with your dad and he was the babysitter 
that he was pulling out a gun on your son or something like that. I was just thinking, if your dad was such a terrible father to you, why would you leave your child with him as the babysitter? So the things that you say are so contradictory. I mean, I just, we never know if you're telling the truth or you just, um, what's the word, expanding on your truth. I don't know, to make it seem worse. Then, of course, she went and she got over 50 gifts from her subscribers sitting in Perum. Now, even other YouTubers who've been on for a while say that you don't get that many gifts from subscribers. And their subscribers like them, too. So, that's probably where your money going, how much you broke. It's all this junk that you done bought that you don't need because you don't have no room for it. Probably don't have room for it in the van, but you definitely don't have room for it back where you were living. I mean, you had shit everywhere. It don't make no sense, but you're going to give people lessons on how to budget and manage their money. And all we see you do is spend, 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 spend. And I tell you what, it was funny because she helped one of the dogs, the littlest one. Because her and a lady was sitting in the garden. Soon, as soon as that lady got up to leave, <laughs> she put that dog down. I was like, you're so fake. We all know that you don't like animals. And then she kept calling the lady a busybody. I didn't understand. She's kind of just creepy to me. I don't... Because you're in her house, but you're doing a video to talk to your people, to do the slurping for those who like it. And then the lady's in her home... And she left out to go do something or whatever. And she's like, I'm going to go see what she's doing. And she's fussing at her, telling her she's a busybody. But this is how she lives. Or fussing at her about the fact that she don't sit down when she eat. This has to be an older woman. But my thing is, this is her home. It's not your home. How do you go in somebody else's home and start just taking over? But I, I'm telling you, this, this reminds me so much when she was at Justine's because I remember she was in the kitchen washing dishes and just talking junk. I mean, I don't get it. If I could, I really would ask Justine what it was that made her trust her because she creeps me out. I don't think I could go to sleep with her in the house. I mean, it, something just ain't right. It ain't registering. Oh, and by the way, before I get off of here, I want to send a shout out to Justine's World and Marisha's TV. I cannot believe they both left me a message. I'm like, wow, they have thousands of people watching them. And they found my little bitty videos. Ladies, thank you so much. It made me feel so good. Not as good as my 360 something subscribers, but you guys were right next to them. So, thank you so much to the new subscribers. Um, I know somebody will say, why are you making content about her, blah, blah, blah. Well, because I can. Some people make content about um, building a car or painting a room or DIYs. I'm going to make my content about van life, Vanessa Van Life Journey. Maybe in the process she will learn how to be more ladylike i don't i don't know um that's a hard one but yeah that burping and uh, you know my mother would have died she just would have died because you could not smack when you ate your food at the table oh my goodness if she's seen that i can hear her now fussing about it i was like there's no way as a grown woman and i'm just hoping this is something that she just does for youtube because I would hate to be at a restaurant and this is how she's eating. <sighs> yeah, she needs to go and get a class on how, how to be a woman, how to conduct yourself as a woman and a lady. But we can only pray, we can only pray. All right, peeps, it is almost one o'clock in the morning here on the East Coast. So I better get my butt in the bed because 6.30 comes very quickly. Hope you guys had a good Monday. Good night.